story is set in medieval times, in, in very specifically 1200, and it's set in a kingdom which has um, fallen into decay. The king has lost both his sons in war, and his grief has rendered him ineffectual. The vacuum that that has left is being capitalised upon by this slightly wicked advisor called Cornelius, who suggests the king's daughter, the famously pure Isabeau, is a little too pious. And when Isabeau refuses the king's attempt to get her to, to be married off to a local knight, Cornelius suggests to the king that she should be punished. And the punishment that the king exacts on his own daughter is that she should be forced to ride naked through the town. All the relationship are very delicate. That's what I like about this piece. It's everything is very subtle. You have to just be very attentive to the details. A lot of it is based on the idea of shame. And the fact that she's mute at that time is also very interesting. And it says a lot about the punishment and the shame and you know the fact that she's you know exposed. You're not gonna get much more currents than that, I don't think. This is a kind of a symbolistic legend on one side, and then, but at the same time, requires so much passion and, 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 and vocal stamina as well. I mean, the tenor role is really amazing, and we are very lucky to have a really wonderful, wonderful cast. It's refreshing to sing a role that nobody in this audience will ever have heard before live. We've been talking quite a bit about how the, the chorus is a character and how this is an important thing to realise because, because they're such a kind of unified body that are always uh, moving together. They're very reminiscent of a piece like Turandot, for example, where we're thinking of a big spectacle. Everyone is really in for a great night at the theatre. <laughs>